Imagine a world where science fiction turns into reality, where you have electronic devices in the future, which are not only transparent, but they're unbreakable as well. That's the kind of vision I'm working towards. So when you look at conventional electronics, or when you think of conventional electronics, they are hard, they are rigid, they are quite brittle. Most of you would know by experience that you drop a mobile phone, that's pretty much the end of it. The screen shatters or something happens to it and it's irre irrecoverable. The other thing which is also happens in most of these electronic devices is most of them have very thin layers of what are called oxide materials. These are layers which are many hundreds of times thinner than a sheet of paper. On the other hand, you have what are called flexible polymers, very similar to materials which are used in contact lenses. So these are mechanically pliable, they're soft, but they have a lot of temperature limitations. So the technological challenge which I had and the innovation which I had to bring through was how do you combine these very diverse mechanical materials, materials which are hard and brittle with materials which are soft and pliable. So what I've developed is a transfer process which enables transparent, stretchable oxide electronics. And by way of this transfer process, my oxide layer takes on a shape of what I've called microtectonics. Why? Because it looks very similar to the geological plates which make up the Earth's crust. So you have plates of these materials which slide over each other, and that's what makes usually the very brittle material of oxide much more stretchable. And also, these also, also lends it additional sensitivity, and that makes it very good for applications. So using this process, I've demonstrated significant applications in three various fields. First, in the field of optics, I've demonstrated what are called metamaterials. So these are artificial crystals which allow the light to bend around an object and thereby render it invisible. So an invisibility cloak, as you see in Harry Potter movies, a step closer to reality. We can also use these as gas sensors. So in an era where air pollution is quite a lot of concern, this will actually be able to effectively pick up gas pollution or air pollution. We can also use these as little patches which can track UV exposure. And in the long way, it should go towards you know, making a difference towards skin cancer. My name is Madhu Bhaskaran. I'm from RMIT University in Melbourne. I lead the Functional Materials and Microsystems Research Group over there. And I envision a world where these low-cost, soft, biocompatible devices form an integral part of life and healthcare. Thank you.